Hi, welcome back to Wildcat Vintage. My name is Randy. I'm the owner of Rockabilly Raven Vintage on Etsy. And here on my channel, we like to go on thrifting hauls. I share all of my vintage treasures that I find out in the wild from thrift stores to garage sales, antique stores, anywhere where I might find something that I can save for me and maybe for you too. If you like that sort of thing, stick around. Today, we have a haul from my local little Goodwill here in my town, and I have some good pieces to show you. It's not a huge haul, but it was a productive haul. So first, I have a beautiful half slip. So what's so important about this half slip? Look at the amount of lace here. Oh my gosh. It is just a small half slip. Um, I found this in the like lingerie pajama section. But it has a really fantastic little tag there. And I believe it says Sex Fifth Avenue maybe? To look at it. I'll double check it and I'll I'll click a picture of it in there, but it's unfortunately a little bit too small for me, so it's going to get dry cleaned and put into the store. I also found another similar small waisted half slip with really fantastic lace again. It just adds a layer of beauty and quality that we seem to have lost in our modern clothing. So. The tag is a small, ooh, I can't tell if you can see it. It is a Vanity Fair, and um, it's also too small for me, so it's going to go up into the store for somebody, maybe like you. All right, so on the topic of slip, not slips, on the topic of skirts. I found several really good vintage skirts. My first one is this ah silver metallic A-line maxi skirt. But the thing that kills me is these buttons. Oh, they're like clear with glitter in them. If it wasn't sacrilege, I'd almost cut the buttons off and save them. Decent sized waist, probably in the neighborhood of a vintage 14, um, doesn't actually have a size, just has its little dry clean only tag. Oh, okay, so full disclosure, I just got a new fancy ring light, because I'm trying to be professional around here, and I'm going to have to figure out how to show you guys tags with this new bright light. So if this video is wonky, that's why, and I'm really sorry. But we're learning together. So, really awesome. A-line maxi. You can leave it buttoned up, or you can leave it unbuttoned with a pair of tights. Maybe without a pair of tights. Whatever suits your fancy, but this beautiful skirt is gonna go up in the store. It's not really my style, but it might be one of yours, so that's where it's gonna go found a great little 1970s also A-line. It's a midi. Look at these pockets. Ooh, right there on the front. It's got a great 1950s feel to it. Just regular kind of simple buttons. Um, great tag made in the United States. It is a vintage size 10, which means it is roughly a size 6 modernly. I know, right? It's crazy. It just blows my mind. Two more skirts, and then I've got two fantastic dresses to show you guys. Picked up a great blue jean high-waisted denim skirt that has belt loops. Everybody likes to wear jean skirts with a belt, and half the time they don't have belt loops. I'm telling you, look for high-waisted skirts with belt loops, ladies. 
Alright, this lovely piece is a size 10. It says size 10 circle. It has a big wide hem, but it's not a circle. Uh, but it's very full. Nothing better than pockets. It does have an elastic back. I prefer the elastic backs. I think they're really nice. Um, also has full uh, metal snap button front. Really, really fantastic. I'm trying to see if it has the tag for who made it. Sometimes you can look at the rivets and or the buttons and figure out who made it. It kind of looks... Ooh, I don't know if you can see it. Look, camera, look here at my finger. There it is. I think it's Gloria Vanderbilt. That looks like a G and a V to me. That is an old G and a V tag for her. So, I'm going to guess Gloria Vanderbilt. I'm going to guess late 70s, early 80s. And see, where was this little guy made? It was made in Thailand. So, maybe mid 80s. We'll go mid 80s. Regardless, it's going to look fabulous. And whether we like it or not, the 1980s are vintage, friends. I am vintage. I was born in the 1980s. It's crazy. And my last skirt from this haul is... I have to admit that I split up a set because the jacket was ugly. I hate to say those words. I don't like the word ugly, but it's true. The jacket was hideous, but this skirt is not. It is... Let me see if I can get it properly positioned for you. It is a high-waisted, long, blue and black herringbone. No, not herringbone. Um, I'm going to have to cut this part out because I have to think. Hound's tooth. Ah, it's morning and I remembered that. I deserve a drink of coffee. Cheers. All right. Hound's tooth pattern. Or maybe just check. Doesn't matter. I still got to drink coffee out of it. It does have a smaller waist. It is a very good brand. It is from the Woolrich Company. Right there. Really, really good tag. Also has a size 10 tag on it. Oh, come on. You can do it little. Oh, there it is. There it is. Almost got it. Ugh. I don't know if it showed up on those green or not. Size 10 vintage skirt. Really lovely um, button and zipper side. Had to look up to see if my son was coming down the stairs, and he's not. So, fantastic. Very good for this fall because it's got that nice high waist. It's got some great inset pleating. So it's going to be fitted at the top and flare at the bottom. Put it over some black knee-high boots. Oh, fantastic. I couldn't pass it up. And the jacket, you would think with a high-waisted skirt that the jacket would have been a high-waisted jacket, right? You would be wrong. My son got in the shower. I'm not refilming this, so forgive the background noise, friends. So, yeah, the jacket was terrible. It had this, like, weird double button thing and bad shoulder pads, and we saved the skirt. We saved the skirt, friends. That's all that matters. All right, so here are the last two pieces. They are both dresses. One is from the 1970s, and one is from the very, very late 1950s, early 1960s. Here is what is awesome about these two. They are both vintage plus size, current plus size. I normally wear about a size 10 modernly. I think I just spit on myself. Oh my gosh. I should not film in the mornings apparently. What is so awesome is that I found a dress at a thrift store for me. 
It doesn't happen often. It's only once in a while that I find them. I usually get them home and they don't fit. Uh, what you will find out, because I will probably put two videos up this week, I found two dresses that fit me that are both from the 50s in the same week. One at a Mennonite vintage, not vintage, Mennonite thrift store that I'm going to do a video for next. And, and then this one that I'm going to show you in a moment. Couldn't believe it. It's blessed. Awesome. All right, let's start with our awesome 1970s piece. Look at these colors. Oh, oh friends, friends, Romans, countrymen. I did not button the buttons. So what are we going to do here at Wild Caught Vintage? We're going to watch Randy button buttons live on camera again because I think I'm prepared. I think I'm totally ready to go. And I always forget what? The buttons. I'm going to put like the buttons somewhere on the screen because it's ridiculous. All right. I'm back. I'm back. I'm on track. We're ready to go. Found. Awesome. Ooh, very cool. 1970s. I would call it a, like a shirt dress. It's shirt waisted because shirt waisted means that the buttons come down to the waist and it stops. Um, we have a lot of shirt waist dresses from the 1950s and the 1960s because we've got those great buttons and then the skirt goes poof. Well, in the 60s and 70s, they still did shirt waist, but there was no poof. It was much more A-line or straight up and down in a sheath, pencil dress kind of style. This is definitely in the shirt dress, shirt waisted shirt dress style. But look at these colors. They're really great, and it's got a longer length. Um, I'm going to guess on the average size uh, woman, it's going to hit him about the mid shin. On me, it's going to hit me at my knee. I'm six foot one, but it's got a really good tag. And um, again, as you saw, it does say it's a size 10. It's got a nice generous cut, so it might actually still be an 8 modernly. Um, again, because it's from the 70s, it doesn't have quite the disparity with the sizing. But had this wonderful little mandarin collar. It's got great, like, frog style buttons. Which frog style just means they're a tied up knot of the fabric. Um, nice sort of wider sleeves. And... I think the color is a little bit washed out, but just look at that. If this was not solidly a 1970s dress and it was more of a 60s dress, I would love this. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get that dry cleaned and put into the store with a leather belt. It's going to look so cool. Or it did come with its matching belt, so you can wrap it up in your hair. You could totally use it as just a tie belt if you like matching. Tie it around your neck. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. Um, really awesome. Very versatile piece. That could transition from summer into fall. Vice versa. So, Alright. Last piece. Is my green dress. Oh. I'm so excited about it. When I saw this. It was at the Goodwill. Okay. So it's on the racks. Right. And I saw the fabric peeking out. And this Goodwill. I've almost stopped going to it because I'm not finding good stuff. And so I find this dress and I'm like, what? So excited. And I didn't actually think it would fit me when I picked it up and threw it in the cart. I got home and I looked at the waist, right? So I, full disclosure, I have a 35 inch waist. So I was like, that, that might fit. It's actually a 36 inch waist, so I've got a little bit of wiggle room. Um, I prefer mine to be nice and fitted, but I'll take a dress that's got a little bit of room in it. And here it is, my friends. Oh my gosh, look at it. Let me see if I can get closer so you can see the fabric better. 
kind of. So it's a bright lime green. Oh, wow, I messed up the color really bad. Let's see how the ring light... There it is! Color came back. So, yeah, nice bright lime green. Um, it has belt loops. No original belt. I don't believe it had a tag. It does not. Could be homemade. Don't know if it was or not. It's got great quality, so... Um, our four mothers, four aunts, four sisters were all such lovely seamstresses that it's really hard to tell. Has a matching green metal zipper. Oh my gosh. So the fabric is kind of a really soft but uh, decidedly acetate fabric, which makes it a little bit less breathable. Quick lesson on how I know this is from the very late 50s and early 60s. Let's go with three, top three things. Late 50s, I believe it's from the late 50s because it does still have metal zipper. 60s, the skirt is a little bit shorter. It's a little bit shorter. It is not that full T-length or midi you know, bottom, as I touch my knees and you can't see it, oh my gosh, um, underneath your knee, these, this is going to hit me directly at the knee. Now, granted, I am very tall and maybe on someone who's not as tall as I am, it would hit a little bit longer, but just the cut, the pleating, I definitely, um, that's more of a 60s style. The color and the fabric, um, the vibrancy of colors on clothes really intensified in the late 1950s moving into the 60s and then solidly going through the 60s. So the color definitely is more of a 60s color versus a 1950s color. Regardless, it is my favorite time period and I am going to very much enjoy wearing this little green dress and if for some reason I choose not to, I will already have dry cleaned it and I will put it up in the store for one of my fellow sisters out there who might just have a 35 inch waist too. So just wanted to show you that this awesome piece, very clean underarm areas, there was no staining, there was no discoloration, there was no stains on the whole dress. So absolutely awesome find. So I hope that you have enjoyed my thrift haul today. Again, if you like thrift hauls or finding vintage clothing and accessories, home decor out in the wild, uh, feel free to join me. I will be posting at least once a week as I have been. I might try and post twice a week. Now that school year is over, I'll have a tiny bit more time on my hands and I very much enjoy interacting with all of you in our community on YouTube. If you have any suggestions, questions, or thoughts, feel free to leave those down below. I have links to our Etsy store as well as Instagram. Love Instagram. Come hang out with me on Instagram. Um, they'll be down in the description below. And I certainly hope that this video has blessed you in some way. I thank you so much for your time joining me today. And I really hope that I get to see you again in the future. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!